Traitors plot to end us. Traitors would have you believe their cause is noble. They wear many masks. They may look like your friends. They may even look like your most loyal servants. This, this is the face of a traitor. Swift. Major Swift, a respected member of the army and sworn servant of the kingdom has plotted against us all. He was apprehended attempting to turn loyal soldiers against us and is thus charged with espionage, treason, and conspiracy. <gasps> Yet there are still others darkening our land with their betrayal. We shall hunt these traitors down, wherever they may be, and they shall suffer the same fate as Major Swift the fate of all enemies of the crowd! He has to be stopped. No matter what it takes, he has to be... Come on, we need to tell the others. As you can see, your promise to... A rather special gift has arrived for you in the usual place. I hope everything is in order. When someone has given you a gift, I will keep it for you here until you wish to unwrap it. I shan't peek, I promise. Such elegance! Hi, how are you? The king can't get away with this. Someone has to do something. I see you. Ben told us what happened. Swift was a good friend. He died like a true soldier. <laughs> a true soldier? Let's not pretend there was anything noble about the way he died. He was tortured, humiliated, and murdered. And he didn't give Logan anything, or we'd be dead now. I called that noble. It was just a matter of time before Logan did this. Before he decided to hunt us down. We have to fight back. We're still not ready, though. We need more allies, and thanks to Swift's efforts, we know exactly where to look. Before he was executed, the Major managed to send us a message. A soldier still loyal to the old guard brought it to me, at great risk to his life. What does it say? Well, this is Swifty we're talking about, so it's rather straightforward. You will find allies in Aurora. I still don't understand how anyone there could help us. Aurora is a dead land. There's nothing there. Or at least, that's what we've been told. It's still the only lead we have, anyway. Can we get on with the plan? I have an overwhelming urge to shoot someone. First thing, we'll need a ship. You and Ben will get hold of one. 
while Paige and I make sure the rest of the fleet doesn't follow. You'll need to go via the back alleys, and they'll be crawling with soldiers. Not a problem. I know my way around the place. I'll meet you at the back of the sewers. We're gonna show Logan just what traitors can do. Go on. My men are putting together the materials we'll need. It should be quite a display. Aurora is a distant place. It could be a while before we return. If there's things you need to do... I'm not the ruler of this land. Do you know how I know that? Because if you were, I would have given you the message. <sighs> ah, a hero! I'm writing a book about a hero, two actually, who go on a grand adventure and save the world, and along the way learn something about life and love. And that's the tricky bit. The action is thrilling, the banter is punchy, but any scene where they express their feelings for one another falls a bit flat. I've nothing to draw inspiration from. I've asked passing villagers to express themselves to each other one on one. Most give me a weird look and hurry away. And the ones who indulge me frankly take it further than I'd like. None of it helps. I don't want to see the crude, awkward fumblings of everyday folk. I need the searing intensity and awe-inspiring passion only heroes can achieve. Do you know another hero you could bring here? A real, live hero? Someone you cooperate with? Well, hello there. I could use your help, you know, cleaning up the streets. I'm ashamed to admit it, but we've had a rash of jailbreaks, and not enough men on duty to track the criminals down. If you could help us out, I'd pay you for your time. Just find them and drag them back here. No doubt they'll put up a fuss, but you can handle it, I'm sure. Thanks. Bring him in and I'll lock him up. Let's get moving. All right, all right, it's a fair cop, as the saying goes. I haven't washed me. Lead the way, then. Right. I have this adventures, it, too. Yesterday, I saved a town from the big ah. monster. Are you ready to go? I could be their princess. You're a very nice person. I just hope Swift's friends really are. But I'm innocent, honest. You didn't see nothing incriminating. Ah, it's the recidivist. Virtually born in jail, he was. Always breaking out, always coming back. Excellent work. You've earned this. Here's your pay.
Got too much gear? Sell it to me. That person now hates you, but no matter. Hate has its upside. A person who can't stand to be around you will sometimes offer gifts, some... Like you say, there. Bribes. I hear you know how to use those alone. weapons of yours. Well, I've got someone for you to use them on. Great. Alan's probably in Bowerstone Industrial, trying to get a game going with someone. Go make sure he doesn't succeed. Ever. What's up with old Reaver, then? Haven't seen him around yet. Heard any interesting news lately? Oh, lady? that was just horrible. No. Shooting a man in public like that's that? That's terrible. What has it come to? have more to spend on new stock when people buy a lot. Right, brilliant. Now I just need to find a new card game and win some money. Hiring assassins isn't cheap, you know. the reliquary and survived. How splendid to have you back at the Academy. From the moment we first met, I knew you were someone who understood the value of knowledge, of le Oh, thank the gods of documentation. The Academy will continue to grow. Of course, it will still be closed by royal decree, but let us tackle one problem at a time. Whenever you find a book in your travels, bring it to my desk. And I will give it a good home. I know of several that exist and have already prepared displays for them. All you have to do is to place them accordingly. Please, my sweet, please. I'm so sorry. I I I'll make it up to you. I've heard that before. In the first few times, you disappointed me. Your clumsiness was sort of adorable in its way, but it's got a bit tired, hasn't it? My darling, please don't. I'm sorry. Please, let's not argue. It's so awful. Awfully boring, you mean? Perhaps if you ever won, it would be more interesting. <sighs> When I married my wife, she was all sweetness and smiles. And now she's all bitterness and bile. You'll do it. Oh, this is the first good thing that's happened to me in years. She's inside. You can start there. I'll go to the pub. Get out of your way. 
It shouldn't be too hard. You go in there and fawn over her, give her a few shiny trinkets, she'll be all over you. <laughs> Work for me. What is it now? Don't tell me you want to talk about things. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought you were my husband. <laughs> Don't know how I could have confused someone like you for someone like him. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> well, hello. Hello. I can't remember the last time he did something nice for me, like buy me jewelry. I adore jewelry, by the way. Look at that. Oh, it is beautiful. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I don't know about you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are awfully appealing. You know that. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it's been lovely spending time with you. And it was exciting at first, flirting <laughs> in my husband's house. But aren't you bored? Hmm? We should go somewhere nice. How about Brighthall Bridge? All right, darling, if you like.
What strong hands you have, my dear. I love the view here. And you don't ruin it with a lot of talk. You just... Oh, stand there and look handsome. Mm. <laughs> You've done that before, I should think. That, or you have amazing instincts, I have to tell you. I've been with William so long, I forgot how incredible it can feel to be with someone exciting. I want more. What do you say? We make a go of this. I'll leave William, and you and I can be together. You've got a ring, you've got a house. You're going to be very hard to resist, aren't you? Go ahead and ask, and let's see how strong my resistance is. Will you marry me? You do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You have no respect for life. <gasps> now I just have to divorce William. Oh, I wish I'd met you five years ago. Would have spared myself a lot of crushing boredom. I've got news for you, William. You're not going to like it, and let me tell you, that breaks my heart. Truly. I've decided we're not right for each other. More specifically, you're not right for me. So, here are the divorce papers. You may consider yourself an ex-husband. Veronica, I don't know what to say other than thank you. Thank you for doing just what I knew you would. What? You planned this all along? Sorry to say. I'll file these with the city clerk first thing tomorrow morning, and then we are officially history. Thanks again. Well, my enterprising love, aren't you a piece of work? You make a deal with a husband to split up his marriage and leave his wife penniless. Rather underhanded, I would say. I... Wonder just how despicable are you willing to be? Because if I think this through logically, if he never makes it to that office, the divorce never happens, and then instead of marrying a hot blooded divorcee, you'd be landing yourself a very wealthy widow. What? You can't mean you'd kill me? Well, technically, he kill you. I'm sorry, William, but it is a lot of money. You haven't left me much of a choice. Don't listen to her. You can just walk away. This doesn't concern you anymore. No. Don't go. Oh. My jam tart. You're not really going to divorce your true love, are you? You're unbelievable. You just tried to have me killed, and now you're trying to worm your way back into my heart. I was confused. This whole awful affair has reminded me how much I really love you. Let's just tear up those papers and start again. And as long as we're tearing, maybe we should have at these clothes as well. Oh. 
around. No. Wait a minute. I'm not falling for that. It's over. Get out of my house. Oh, all right, fine. You're a disappointment, William. I wanted to make it work, but if you don't want to try, I'll leave. And I'm taking my jewelry with me. Fine. And good riddance. So worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. I bet that's where she's gone. Please find her and bring... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can.
Mommy said I shouldn't talk to strangers. Of the cave. Brilliant. Help! What's that? Help! I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. More nasty things. Don't let them eat me. My darling, my little darling, what a relief. I was beside myself. I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt.